9A on your Friday Eve. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. I'm a little sore from my workout on I'm, Tuesday. I'm sore from my workout yesterday. Isn't that funny how that works? Yeah, Sometimes, but isn't it a good feeling? Yeah, it's a good feeling. It's like, oh, I did something. Right. We were I, talking to Dana Brown about this yeah, yesterday, right? I did something right. Yep. And, and it's it good for your body. It's good for you. Shake your body. Mm -hmm. Shake your body on me. There you go. And on me. <laughs> and also, the good news is we are we are very grateful and capable that we can move our body like that. 100%. Right? So don't view it as like a goal. View it as a lifestyle. I think we're talking to Dr. Laura Saunders about some of that a little bit little later treats. on. Motivation. Motivation and treats and All things right. like that. Speaking I got a treat, of a treat for you. Yeah. Let's do it. First alert, live radar, scans to stay dry. Well, let me tell you something, it's gonna stay that way for days. Thank now you. we do have a frost advisory, excuse me, a freeze watch in effect for a good portion of Connecticut again tonight through tomorrow morning. Temperatures tomorrow morning could actually be a little bit chillier than where they were this morning. A little bit of a breeze this morning and a little bit of cloud coverage helped the temperatures stay up. But tomorrow morning that wind goes calm and the temperatures tomorrow could be even chillier than where they were this morning. So protect those plants, okay? The rest of today, sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. <laughs> temperatures topping out a little bit cooler than average. 65 is our normal high. We're gonna be in the, uh, let's say mid to upper 50s uh, for inland and for the shoreline. Chilly start tomorrow, sunny skies tomorrow, and then milder. It'll cloud up late on Saturday, but Saturday's a pretty good day to get out there and enjoy it. Sunday morning, we'll start off with some scattered showers, but they should be over by about nine. And then the rest of Sunday looks pretty good, too. And Monday, we're talking 80 degrees. That's awesome. 80. <laughs> Put an umbrella in your drink and, and sip on and, it. And to take me away to Margaritaville. <laughs> Seriously. That's wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> That's great. All right, lawmakers are one step closer to passing paid sick leave for every employee in our state. And a bill to expand coverage was passed by the State House yesterday afternoon. So the proposal would require all companies to give 40 hours or five work days of paid sick leave to workers each year. Right now, it's only mandatory for businesses with 50 or more employees. Hmm. The Senate could vote as early as next week on this. Yeah, and if it passes, the requirements would be passed, uh, phased in over the next three years, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. I think everybody deserves a little sick time. I mean, you get sick. Yeah. What are you going to do? Especially if you get sick from your kids and that your are kids getting get sick. kids get sick, and then, you know, you get sick, the kids get sick, effect. you got to stay home if the kids are sick, the whole nine yards. There you go. But um, seasonal employees and union employees would be exempt. Okay. Good to know. And also, there are some big changes coming to school lunch menus across the country. Well, I was served a hockey puck, so things are <laughs> much better now. Oh, my gosh. Um, like my the hamburger? I was like, what is that? But the things or, have changed or dramatically. Or your food will talk to you. Mm -hmm. Or my favorite food item was a pretzel with chocolate and cheese dipping sauces. Whoa, I That's didn't have that. That's very healthy. Well, I didn't have that. <laughs> Nutrition requirements are being updated for the first time in 14 yeah. years. New U.S. standards will limit the amount of sugar and sodium in breakfasts and lunches served to nearly 30 million students. The changes set by the USDA will be implemented in phases over the next few years. I think that's a good idea. A yeah, less sugar in absolutely. The food. I know I'm trying to cut down on the sugar myself. Well, it's hard because we are both from generations where sugar was just everywhere, yep. preservatives and sodium, but it's favorite, good to watch. Favorite school lunch? Mine, I know what mine was hands down. I mean, pizza day. Pizza day, yeah. Friday. That was Friday, And they, yeah. they would burn some of the pizza by accident, and they'd put those slices on for 10 cents. Get out. Yeah, so I would go and get all the burned pizza, because I love burned That's pizza. That's amazing. It was really good. <laughs> I was like, I yummy. Love that. But the, like the Dunkaroos, too. Do you remember Dunkaroos? No, we didn't have the one. Oh, it's like cookies with like frosting. Oh, sounds yummy. It's so healthy again. <laughs> 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love them. <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, speaking of food, we've all experienced a high price of groceries late, lately. And then for local food pantries, they are in such need of help to serve. And then on top of the high prices, it's just not a good situation. So Channel 3's Irene O'Connor and the Liberty Bank Surprise Squad spread some kindness to a food pantry in Newington. Take a look. We're going to get everything we need for the Newington Food Pantry. Here we go. From shampoo to peanut butter to cereal. Cranberry almond crunch. We got it all and loaded up our cart. The Newington Food Pantry put out a call on Facebook saying they were in dire need of canned goods, paper goods, everything they needed from the grocery store. So the Liberty Bank Surprise Squad is here to help. We're from the Liberty Bank Surprise Squad. Oh, awesome. 
awesome. That's amazing. I don't realize I'll take it. some of these. This is so good. It, it is a dire need. And, you know, people think of us during the holidays and it, we get past the, the, the first of the year and into the winter and it's, you know, not as much on people's minds. The Newington Food Pantry serves 160 families every month and the need for groceries gets larger by the day. So many more people are struggling. We're getting more phone calls from people that we've never helped before. Um, so we're trying to meet their needs. I'm excited. I didn't know this. So this is fantastic. It's a nice surprise. It's a big help. It's a nice surprise today because as I look at the bins, the bins are all empty as we walked in. Here in Newington, kindness spreads quickly. I was just so happy because truly we are, Pam and I have been talking about the need and how we're going to yeah. advertise that we need the food and um, this will be a great help. Irene O'Connor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The Liberty Bank Surprise Squad wants to keep spreading kindness and of course we need your help. If you know someone who deserves to be recognized, nominate them today on the Channel 3 app. Or you can go to WFSB.com and click right on the Surprise Squad nomination form. How do you create